Hey, what's up you guys? So, I am talking, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I am talking very, very low because it is literally 22.56pm right now, so it is very late, but I just feel like recording. So, enjoy. Hey guys, what's up? It is your wannabe metalhead here, doing a voiceover for the first time. So. As you guys might have noticed by the title underneath or above this uh, video, um, I'm drawing Ben Drowned. So that's cool, because it's part of the Creepy Pasta series. So first off, I'm just kind of sketching everything out, you know, with my reference photo on my phone, because I'm recording this with my computer, because I'm very unprofessional. The reason I'm doing a voiceover, because I, I kind of got to the point in myself where it's like, you guys can't see what I'm doing until the very end. Or if I show you occasionally, which I kind of forget sometimes. <laughs> so I decided to do a voice to tell you guys what I'm doing. But first of all, I'm just kind of sketching everything out. You know, the hair, the face, the jaw. I think the hat actually came in like a lot later. So. And as of speaking, it is 1027. So, and I told you guys that I actually started recording this last night. And it ended up being really late. And I was like... Screw it, I'm just gonna do the voiceover tomorrow. And now it is tomorrow, so I'm doing the voiceover. Yay! See, I finished recording at um, like half past midnight. <laughs> so, uh, let me just. Because I'm kind of doing notes here, just kind of keep tabs on everything. And I'm drawing the hat there. Uh, let me see. Started voiceover at ten twenty-seven. And then we go down here and we go and we say finished voiceover colon question mark. Save. Okay, what am I doing? I'm outlining stuff. I was outlining the hair, the face, and like a few details in the hat. So and the hat itself. <laughs> and like, let, let, let me tell you guys something, the jaw was a pain in the Buddha hole and then I finally got it somewhat right, but the jaw is still fucked up, as you guys will see at the end of the video, that I still fucked up the jaw, so that's great. And the neck too, I fucked that up too. Just doing some detailing on the hat, some wrinkles. So, back to sketching ears. I had to zoom in because I'm really bad with ears, uh, yeah. I'm I'm just I'm really bad with everything, so yeah. Outlining the basic shape of the ear, adding in a few details. So just zoom around. I actually don't know what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, that's, that's the jaw I'm drawing. My my head got itchy. So sketching out the shirt. You can kind of start to see a little bit of the eye and a little bit of um, the head line. <laughs> like around the very edge, you can kind of see a little, like the black dot you see right in the middle. That's, um, that's the eye you can see there. So. Now just erasing everything. Well, not everything. But just erasing around where the line work was dry. So I wouldn't smear it. Do I have any weird stories that I can tell? Then my computer decided to run low on battery. That's great. <laughs> I had to leave it in just so that it wouldn't be completely quiet. Because already in my head I was thinking like, what should I do? Should I just do like normal? or? And then it came over me because I've been watching this YouTuber who's really awesome called Draw with Jessa. I don't know if you guys know him. Like this Aussie dude who's really awesome at drawing. Like he, like it's crazy how awesome he is at drawing. 
and he uses like Copic markers and I just uses I just uses but I just use these um I think they're 0.3 millimeters of tri plus fine liner and like it's made in Germany I'm pretty sure yeah it's made in Germany I don't really know anything about my markers like at all also I have some favorite castle markers I use those for fat lining so so I have a 1.5 Faber Castell, which is a bullet. Then I have a soft chisel and a soft brush. I used to have another one, but I had to throw that one out because it ran out of ink, which is really sad because my mom paid a lot of money for these. So, and then when I finished the general line work of been drowned like everything I decided to go and find another one where I kinda just google link so yeah you see in all the pencil areas areas are gonna be shadows so right now I'm just picking out colors for the hair the hat and suit yeah well yeah basically and then I picked out like a few writs for some reason the marker I just pulled out is my 1.5 um, bullet pen my paper castle so I'm just picking out every single green I can find and three different yellows, like a very neon yellow to get the lighting right, to get the highlight, and then just testing out like colors, like just to see what, what they were. Because I had to find two reds and they ended up um originally I wanted to use them for blood, like around the eyes or the eye. Maybe a little bit like around the mouth and stuff, but uh testing out base color for hair, highlight for hair, shadow for hair. I just want to see how those three work together and they work really well. So so all the pencil areas I am now filling in with um, the uh, dark yellow slash light orange. It's, it's bordering on orange. It looks really orange on the screen but it's not. Um, using that for shadow wherever there was pencil areas in the hair. So you can really just play around with a lot of different things because I do not have professional drawing gear at all. I am using like pencils I stole from my school, like the the Lureco H or H that I'm using, or like like just random stuff. So erasing a little bit around the hat, highlighting with the neon yellow, and I had to check if it was going through because it was fucking up my paper a little bit. So. So yeah, just going in with the highlight and just highlighting all the top parts of the hair and doing a slight bit of rim lighting around as well. So <clears throat> so I think this actually ended up being pretty good. I really did, yeah. I really do still. I, I love it. Like, I think it's awesome. Going in with a little bit of, well, actually filling in the hair with the base color. So that's fine. That's cool. And that was really just to get the proper angle on it because I'm left handed, so. <sighs> I don't know what I did there. You guys want to see? That's the hair. <laughs> so, I know I kind of sped everything up. I will try to figure it out. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it and you guys are just going to have to be quick. Because <laughs> at the end, I'll show it anyway, so. But yeah, back to the draw with Jazzy Guy. Uh, what was the gonna say about him? Shit, I don't remember. Well, he's awesome at least, and he's, he kinda told me everything that shadow and light is very important, even if it's just like a few colors. Um, you don't have to blend them, like at all. And then trying to pick the right greens for the hat. And the shirt, so... Ended up being that. I just, I started off with all of the shadows and all the penciled areas of the hat. And all of the little lines and wrinkles underneath, I put um, the shadow on, and then above, like over the, um, the the line, above the shading, I put the highlight, and then I also did a little bit of rim lighting. And then I kind of just went in with the base color and drew around everything, so I kind of lined everything around. Um, so just going in with the highlight, doing a little bit of rim lighting on the edge of the hat. So just kind of filling in everything. Well, not filling in, but drawing everything. So
Then I'm going in with a little bit of more shading. Some shading. Ooh, I'm throwing shade. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. I woke up 36 minutes ago. Give me a break, okay? I'm tired. <laughs> Not really tired. I actually just kind of felt like doing this because it, it wakes me up in the morning. It's like, oh yeah, I gotta go do YouTube. Woohoo! Also, um, oh, there, there's the highlight of the shirt. That's great. Awesome. Okay. But to tell you guys a little story, I know I haven't been uploading every other day or every day or anything frequently at all. I know many more, more popular, more, more popular YouTubers. Like some, some people throw out like four videos a day, and I, I can't even throw out one every other day or every third day. It's because like I've been wanting to record, but my brain won't let me. So finally, I was like, okay, so it's late at night, I can totally do that. If I be somewhat quiet, so I don't wake up the dogs, she doesn't start barking, so I wake, so I wake up my dad. Don't want to do that. So I talk really quietly, and I was actually trying to be really quiet. Um, you guys do not want to sit through like a, a, an unedited speed drawing. You don't want to do that. So, as I've said, you know, the first time... Well, I haven't really said that. The first time, it, I, I actually reached the recording limit of an hour. And then I just kind of had to keep recording. Well, I had to start a new recording and throw that in, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm not a professional. But, like, my brain just kind of wouldn't let me. In a sense that... I haven't really come up with ideas. I haven't really feeling inspired to, like, I don't know what to talk about. So, so I know I haven't done a lot of talking videos lately. Or anything where you actually see my face for more than like two two minutes or like twenty seconds or something. But that's just because like it's I won't I'm not gonna say that it's hard to find topics because it's not really like Google is your friend, you just go and see what's trending if you wanna make more views. I don't care about views that much. I really, really don't. Like, yeah, it's cool if a video gets, like, fucking hundred and something views. That's awesome. Like, my true name montage, even though I got a strike for that. And now I can't make money off of it. Which really doesn't matter. It's like, it's 20 cents down the drain. Who cares? So. But I just, I haven't been feeling camera ready, I guess. Like, I'm never really camera ready. I'm fucking ugly. But now I can kind of see the piece starting to come together. Doing some final highlighting, shading a little bit here and there. But I'm actually shading everything with a gray pen. With like a really or like a really light gray pen. So But yeah, I just I have I haven't been feeling well, so erasing legitimately every single construction line you can find. <laughs> Brushing off the gunk. And now I'm going to fat line the entire outline. Not, not the details, but the entire outline. I'm going to fat line it. So around the ears, the hair, the hat, the shirt, everything. So. And then you kind of see I'm going into it a little wrinkle. That is just because it is a continuation of a line. So a detail will be a few of the lines down further on the hat, maybe. Or around the hair or something. So. Going into fat line, out. that's cool. Uh, <laughs> Shall I sing for you? You know, you know, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be making a lot of noise here, cause I don't care. So yeah, just kind of, I'm filling in the bottom of it because I couldn't get it to reach the paper because it drew it up a little bit too high. So I'm just filling in the black area and then I'm kind of drawing it out and smudging it. So, because like these Faber-Castell markers, they, like, they dry, but it takes a very long time. Oh yeah, here I got a little makeshifty because I couldn't find a ruler and I didn't want to go off camera for like 10 minutes and risk waking up the entire house with my dad and my dog but so I decided to use a sewing kit that I have a BG Bank sewing kit it's a teeny tiny sewing kit with a scissor, some thread two buttons and a pin but no sewing needle so that's awesome yeah I'm just uh, drawing out the uh, the grip 
for it. So, and the little cut you saw there was where I could reach my limit. But I speed it up for you guys so you don't have to sit through an entire fucking hour of it. Because apparently it can't record more than an hour, I figured out. So that's cool. And then I go to draw the, uh, the letters. Yeah, I'm actually just kind of drawing out the words for it after I uh, after I did the grid. I kind of just did the words for it, and that's cool. So just kind of put the back there. Uh, I'm, I'm just I'm just drawing out the words really. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna take you guys on a little walk here. Walky, 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 walk. Okay, so uh, I found my dog, so I apologize if the sound quality got super shitty. Well, I decided to move into the living room because there's better lighting so I can actually see what I'm doing. And also because I am a smoker. So yeah, you guys think how blue my hair has gone? Here we go, I color in the words after I done all of it. The grid is still there. Good. <clears throat> Just get comfortable here. Yeah, coloring all the words with a somewhat solid red color, not completely solid, but it's there. It's a little grimy in nature, and I like that a lot. Vicky. Baby, come here. Here, come. My dog doesn't want to come to me. Sleepy bubble. So I just want to know for a second. You guys can tweet me or IG me on Instagram or if you know me, message me, send me a text or call me or anything. Leave a comment, actually, if you like this whole voiceover thing and I'm, I'm gonna get it or under control because this is very sporadic and not super professional at all but I am not professional at all so just let, let me guys know down below or text me or anything if you like this voiceover thing and you want it to keep going because I cannot get a proper angle on it so this is the alternative you're just gonna have to sit through it no music well of course we're gonna throw in some music that's probably some really creepy music going on right now Cracking my knuckles. And here I decide to half outline all the words with a darker red. Almost like a brown, but not really. It's like it's a burgundy. So doing a burgundy color, just half outlining. So if you have an O, like a circle and then a circle inside, I would outline the right side of it so I wouldn't go all the way around. I did that with all the letters. So, and in short time notice, you're gonna see everything. You can kind of see already. You can see the art piece. And the reason why all my characters are white skinned is just because I don't have a color marker. I don't have like, like a a, a white person skin color. I have a I have a black person skin color, an Indian and an Asian person skin color. That's racist. <laughs> Could you shut the fuck up, stupid trucks? So yeah. I think I kind of just actually turned off my phone at that point because I didn't really need it. Putting some of the markers back, erasing the grid of the letters, erasing the construction construction lines. And I just went in with some... Uh, some more detailing and then I just went in with my 1.5 paper castle and just kind of named him Ben Drowned. I just kind of wrote that and did a cool little line effect under it. <clears throat> so, as you can see I, I slowed it on down to original speed and voila Ben Drowned. You shouldn't have done that. 
So, I hope you guys liked it. Also, I'm gonna show you guys another little art piece that um, when I was watching Draw with Jessa, this uh, he named three words, which was a post-apocalyptic Nazi gummy bear, and I got inspired and decided to draw it. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my living room. <laughs> it is 10:49, so that's when I finished it. I will put down in the, in the description how long this video actually took to make from start to finish, in between uh, sleeping as well and all. I hope you liked the voiceover. If you did. Please comment down below, text me, IG me, tweet me, whatever, and if you want this to keep on going. But if you enjoyed, why don't you go ahead and slap the like button in the face, like a creepy duck. <laughs> Subscribe, share, comment, whatever you feel like, and stay metal.